We have lots of coaching skills in our toolkit. And part of what makes a good coach is knowing which one to use when. When we want to move a team's view on the challenge and change behaviours, taking a solution focused approach to the situation can really help. Here are five techniques you can try. Reframing, reflecting a statement back in a different way to open up new possibilities and opportunities. The miracle question, without worrying about how to get there, Ask teams to focus on the future and what might be possible if they could see a solution and all barriers were removed. Scaling. Ask people where they are on a scale of 1 to 10 and what might be different at another score. Sow the seeds. Ask the team to reflect on their experiences and listen out for hidden seeds of the solution within the problem. Give it a go. Encouraging a more experimental mindset and moving the thinking towards testing. Let's see what our solutions can do in action. Last week, we looked at the process map and decided to try to reduce the waiting time in clinics. Sounds like time to start planning for our first test. Before we start planning, I'm worried. The process map showed us how complex things are. We're never gonna be able to solve this. Okay, so what if at the next clinic you turned up and the process was much simpler? Everything flowed well and the process was actually fixed. What would it look like to you? Well, I suppose there would be fewer steps, less repetition, uh, all patients would have the same experience and I'd be a lot happier. Come on, faffing around with fancy process maps is going to take too long. We just don't have the time. So urgency is an issue and we know that this has been a problem for a long time. How do you think we can move this forward? Well, I suppose as a start, we could work on agreeing which steps of the process we don't need. What do you think, Cathy? I really don't feel I have anything to contribute to this. In my day, things were a lot easier and we saw the patients more. So what kinds of things did you do in your day? There must be things that you do to make the experience better for patients. Well, I'm always friendly and greet them to try and make them feel welcome. I don't know. It just felt like we all worked together better as a team for the patient. And now we're all in little pockets doing our own thing. We all know change is really difficult. You mentioned poor teamwork. Where would you all score the teamwork now? And what would be different if you were at a five? We'd all be pulling together in the same direction, with the same purpose. We have loads of great ideas. But so many clinics and so many patients, it's impossible to see how we can move forward. You are making really good progress and improvement can be tough. Is there a way that you could test your change ideas out? Maybe one clinic or just a few patients? Well, that sounds like a good idea. Shall we develop a PDSA at the next meeting? By focusing and thinking about a future state, coaches can help the conversation move from the current view to what future possibilities there might be. This can be really helpful when thinking about testing and PDSAs, as well as developing aims and the vision. Remember, coaching is dynamic and you won't necessarily want to use all the skills at once. Next time you have the opportunity, practice one and see if it helps move things forward.